Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth. Uh, I'm feeling better. Thank you very much. At the photo booth here with a bunch of recent acquisitions. I've got uh, up front. We're just going to jump right in here. Up front, we've got the uh, Titans Return Legends Class Sea Spray. Uh, definitely a piece I've been looking forward to. Uh, obviously, anybody who grew up with uh, the G1 uh, in the, during the G1 era, the Transformers you mostly had were the ones that fit in your pocket because they were cheap. Uh, sea Spray, Power Glide, uh, those guys, Huffer, Gears. Braun. Those were the ones that made up the bulk of my Transformers collection. I mean, I had, you know, Optimus and Megatron. My brother had Optimus. I had Megatron. Um, and you had a couple more Soundwave. Uh, but uh, the, the bulk of my Transformers collection was um, the smaller pieces, uh, which is, you know, people give GoBots so much crap. But the reality is I had a bunch of these and I had a bunch of GoBots and they were actually the same scale. But uh, really nice piece here. Nice to see Hasbro revisit uh, the classics. Looks like Sea Spray. Feels like Sea Spray. Acts like Sea Spray. Definitely glad to have that one. I'll put that with my... Uh, Warpath and Power Glide and Gears and all those guys. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, over here we've got, uh, not sure if we're going to do a full review on this one or not. We've got a couple things still in the queue here. Might get to it. Uh, but this is the uh, Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends uh, Human Torch. Just weird. Weird that uh, Walgreens, first of all, it's still weird to me that Walgreens has become like a toy store go-to place. Uh, that section, that aisle seems to be getting bigger and bigger in their uh, store all the time. Um, but uh, it, further weirding it up is that uh, they've got uh, the Fantastic Four characters. So great. Glad that we've got uh, Fantastic Four characters back uh, into the line. Invisible Woman uh, earlier this year. Human Torch. Uh, and then obviously we've seen pictures of uh, Reed with his stretch or stretchy arms. And then uh, so I've, uh, obviously they're going to do Thing at some point. Not sure. If, uh, I'm guessing Reed's first half of 2018 and uh, Thing is probably second half of 2018. Uh, I could be wrong on that. I don't know. I don't know where I don't work there. I don't know what the release dates are. But uh, it's a nice figure. I'd love uh, I'd love to still see a release uh, where we get a non fi flamed up uh, Human Torch figure, uh, Johnny Storm. This one is uh, built very similarly to the uh, Iceman figure. Um, you know, complete with the uh, little flame attachment on the back here. But uh, I really like how they did it. I like the the, the delicious uh, cherry cough drop uh, <laughs> flavored uh, plastic that they used. Um, you know, usually you get the human torches that have like the lines on the body and that stuff. Uh, and man, I've, I've probably got four or five different human torches in my bin. Um, and I gotta say, this is, uh, this is certainly my favorite modern one. I still like the old... Uh, Let's see if I could grab it real, real quick. It's in the bin in the other room. But uh, I still like the classic uh, Marvel Legends one. Hang on. That's ah, my fault for not being pre prepared. I, I still like the classic Marvel Legends one, the Toy Biz Marvel Legends. That's just, you know, solid painted red with the black stripes on him, the way he was always depicted in the comics. Uh, I do still like that figure. He comes with the... this flame effect thing, which, you know, actually would work pretty well with him. Yeah, look, it looks like it was made for him. Anyway, that's a good figure. Like I said, I'm not sure if we're going to get to a full review on him or not. We might. Uh, it's possible. Uh, up front over here, we've got the uh, Playmates uh, Voltron figures. Uh, I totally forgot these were coming out, and then I happened to be walking through Toys R Us. I was actually looking for uh, Commander Gree, um, which I was able to get, but uh, I was looking for Commander Gree. Uh, forgot these were coming out. Saw them. Grabbed all three, uh, and then uh, was disappointed when I actually opened them up. Look, as far as being toys for kids, they're fine, um, and I guess that's who they're going for. They've got some articulation. Uh, it's just the articulation they have is weird. You know, like the elbows are fine, the shoulders are fine. They've even got, you know, some rotation here. Uh, but these hips are like weird, almost Toy Biz uh, or, or, and Hasbro era, uh, almost like their uh, you know, ball and socket uh, hips, uh, except that they can't rotate. Uh, so if you want to get, you know, if you want to get a little bit of a, a you know, leg spread there, it's like you can't. You can only turn them and, and flex them out. Uh, and the paint application is just not great. And helmets, you know, like I, I appreciate how much they uh, do evoke the old vintage uh, Voltron figures. Um, is in terms of cheapness? <laughs> But uh, I don't know if that's really what uh, what they were going for. I would love to see a, a, some toy maker approach this with uh, a bit more of an adult collector sort of uh, idea in mind. All right, guys. 
Um, I, you know, to this day, I still haven't picked up the actual combining Voltron. Uh, every time I see it, I just, I don't know, it's just not working for me. Uh, I've heard about the QC issues with the shoulders and the tails breaking off and stuff. Um, and I just, the individual lines I think look great. Something about that combined mode. I love it on the show. I just don't feel like it translated to the toy. Uh, at least not enough for me to want to drop a uh, hundred bucks on the whole thing. Um, I love guys with removable helmets, so that uh, is cool. And I love the fact that their visors are actually uh, translucent. You know, they come with some gear. They've each got uh, their signature Bayard weapon. You know, they've each got the clear plastic shield. Um, you know, uh, like I said, the Bayard weapons, Lance has got his gun. Shiro comes with, this really should have been, I feel like this should have been a translucent plastic fist as opposed to, you know, just painted pink. Um, but, you know, at least he comes with something. They're, they're not great. I I posted them on Instagram and, and my comment then is the same as now. Uh, don't pay over retail for those. Uh, they're, they're definitely going for more on the secondary market and it's just not worth it. You'll be disappointed. Um, over here we've got... Um, a couple of uh, custom heads I picked up from Toy Box Customs on Instagram. Um, this was the first one. It's a Marvel Legends scale uh, Snake Eyes head. Can you even see those? Uh, and I threw it on the Scourge Marvel Legends body. Uh, for now, I was probably going to put it on a Deadpool body, but I never did find a second Deadpool to uh, paint up uh, in a more Snake Eyes style. Um, I, and you know, the other thing is I haven't really looked for it. I'm going to have to check it out. I, I do still want a Commando style head. I like the visor head, the ninja head. Uh, but I do still want a commando head as well. I'm not sure if uh, Toy Box or anybody else is uh, doing those, but I definitely need to get my hands on one of those. So um, after Articulated Icon's Modern Ninja hit, uh, Toy Box also released a uh, scaled head uh, and also paint painted more for this. You know, this has uh, the, the gloss black sort of with the gray visor to match the Marvel Legends. This is more the flat dark gray. Uh, to match the articulated icons and I love the way it looks. It's a fantastic this this reminds me of um, Not renegades uh, resolute uh, snake eyes quite a bit um, Just in the sort of modern ninja styling and you know, he's even got because they're ninja figures He's, he's even got the uh, the toe shoes um, I don't know what the actual ninja name for the toe shoes is, but he's got them. Um, very pleased with both of those, you know until <laughs> Until there's a movie in production a cartoon series something. I don't know what they're gonna do with that G.I. Joe brand, but we're not going to see figures until then, so hopefully six-inch figures are still in fashion if, when, they ever get around to doing that. Um, Shane Backus uh, sent me a box of stuff, just a bunch of random things, um, and inside were a uh, First Order Snowtrooper. I did have one of those already, but I will take it because I don't mind uh, army building figures like that. That that gives me, I've got two regular and one captain. Captain, commander, whichever one has the orange uh, shoulder pauldron, so that's cool. That's a nice little squad of those guys. Uh, also included in that box was the uh, NECA engineer uh, from Prometheus. I'm not a huge Aliens fan. Uh, obviously, I've seen Alien and Aliens. Uh, probably even saw the one with Rock in it. Um, which one? Whichever is it? The fourth one that has uh, the weird human alien hybrid baby at the end. I've seen that one. That one was weird. Uh, probably saw about 30 seconds of Aliens vs. Predator, and uh, I think I've seen bits of Prometheus. Uh, not enough to really know what uh, what's going on there, other than it ends with, you know, aliens and stuff in it, and that big fight with the octopus monster, whatever it is. Uh, but, you know, this is a cool figure. I don't really do a lot of NECA stuff. Um, not There's just, you know, the limited articulation. The I, I appreciate the focus on detail uh, and likenesses and that sort of thing, but uh, the figures tend to be bigger than six inches. And, uh, I mean, that's fine for the engineer, of course, but, uh, I don't know, this, uh, character didn't, doesn't mean that much to me, so I can just sort of appreciate it for what it is. It's a cool figure. Uh, and then, of course, uh, along with that were, uh, Yellow Jacket, I don't know what his name is, uh, Predator, and then, uh, Hicks and Hudson here. Great figures, uh, I, I feel like this is an attempt... You know, people are constantly trying to get me, why, why, why don't you guys do more Predator stuff? Why don't you do more Alien stuff? It's just like... It's franchises that I'm not that personally interested in, um, and I just, I still don't trust NECA. Everything I've ever purchased from them has had some sort of, you know, breakage issues. It just it's something wrong with it. it. My, you know, I my Christopher Reeve Superman I had to return. My uh, those those Christian Bale Batman figures, like the eyes were all messed up. I just they don't have a great reputation with me, and and some of that is carryover from the McFarlane years. Um, I definitely had some McFarlane Predators and Aliens. Those things broke like. 
those things were even worse. And, and NECA sort of inherited that reputation for me. Um, but great likenesses on these figures. Uh, I mean, head to toe, they look fantastic. And they're actually more poseable than I expected them to be. So that's that's a, a pleasant surprise. Um, and they feel a bit more durable. So hopefully these guys will hold up. Um, I'm not going to pose them too much. Uh, but hopefully they'll hold up. Um, a little torn on the faces. They're great likenesses. But I mean, there is really just, you know, not much you can do here with uh, Hudson. I mean, you know, it's, it's the game over face. But... You're pretty much stuck. Uh, I, I think there's another version of him out there with a different face. I'm not positive. I Like I said, I really haven't paid attention to this line that much other than to know that I wasn't a huge fan. So I'm glad uh, I'm glad Shane sent these over so I could actually take a look at them, uh, you know, put my hands on them and see how they actually work and see where, you know, quality control, see where the quality has come for uh, NECA. You know, the, the only other Predator figures I have right now are two that I picked up at uh, New Jersey Collectors Con not too long ago. Uh, and they were both very, very City Hunter and something else. They were both very early uh, Predators. Uh, and right out of the box, one of them just snapped right at the elbow. Did just not even any pressure. I just took it out of the box, cracked his elbow. So hopefully, like I said, he feels a lot more durable than uh, those figures. So hopefully that's where they're headed. Um, over here in the back, uh, wrapping up the Shane Backus box was a uh, 12-inch Duke here from back in the 90s. Uh, right when uh, Desert Storm and all that stuff was happening. It brought back the 12-inch line for G.I. Joe. And uh, it was it was neat to, to see this in the box and to see it nearly 100 percent complete and in really, really great condition. I haven't seen that figure in a really long time. There was a couple of good pieces in there, uh, a couple of stinkers. But uh, overall, that line was pretty successful and got them back uh, and rolling. Thanks, war. And, then, and uh, here we've got uh, this knock off Valkyrie, which uh, is just, you know, sometimes they're so bad, they're good. And this thing is just it's hollow, cheap plastic. I mean, they'll. It's not, I guess it's not that that cheap plastic, but you know, it's weird because all the pieces are here and some of them, you know, it's like, I don't think that's an original head. I mean, this is my reissue uh, and just God, just touching it. It just feels so much different. The plastic's better. It's got weight. It's got die cast parts. It's got spring activated, you know, mechanisms and stuff. I don't even know. Okay, so the wheels do kind of come out. I can't push it any further than that. It feels like it's going to break. And it's just, God, it's so, you know, this painted on cockpit. And I don't know if you ever had an, a weapon originally. And like these, you know, his head guns are on <laughs> two different, it's two different pieces attached to his head. So they don't actually connect. And just these, just the stickers look awful and everything just, but all the pieces are here. I mean, you can, you can change this guy into, into, you know, jet mode and batroid mode. And it just, it, uh, uh, Gearwalk, excuse me, Gearwalk mode, um, and uh, it's just, uh, it's ugly. It's the colors are weird, the plastic is weird, but it's it's got some personality. I can't deny that it's got a little bit of, uh, it's got a little bit of uh, character to it. And, uh, you know, he's just going to stand on the shelf with my uh, other two Valkyrie uh, Robotech pieces here. Last up, we've got the uh, Weijang um, knockoff oversized uh, Titans Return Brainstorm. Uh, I've never, you know, I've, I knew the Weijang stuff was out there. Obviously, the Optimus Primes look incredible. Um, I would love to get that uh, evasion mode movie Optimus uh, oversized piece. That looks incredible. I think it's like a hundred bucks though, and that's something I can't spend that much money on. Um, but this piece was uh, 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 brought to my attention, and uh, you know, I loved the Titans Return. I love the Titans Return Brainstorm. Here he is for comparison, just so you can see how much bigger it is. And I guess the whole point to here be beyond, you know, like let's try to make some money off of somebody else's IP. Um, and it's not much money. This thing was 20 bucks shipped from China uh, on eBay, um, which is less than you would pay for this. Walgreens exclusive. Um, but uh, it's just weird. It's basically like, let's take it from, you know, deluxe class to, I guess, Voyager class. Um, yay. Which, I mean, I don't mind. It's just weird. It's like just 30% larger. And that's it. That's the difference. I mean, obviously the paint apps and some of the plastic color choices are, are different here. The shoulders are different. He's got the silver you know, feet um, on his uh, shield slash, you know, front of his ship mode. Uh, he's got the silver paint on the guns, which looks really, really sharp. Uh, it's just weird. You know, the, the paint choices that they made, it, it doesn't even really matter. You know, it's, it's just some knockoff factory in China cranking these things out. Um, the most disappointing thing for me uh, is that they didn't keep the color of the cockpit here. I really like the orange over here, and it really, you know, makes the whole thing uh, tied together. Uh, and, and on top of that, you know, this cockpit has the teal uh, paint around the edges of the cockpit to, to really 
You know, this is just a big lump of plastic right in the middle of his chest. All right, everything's just falling apart here. Um, but uh, still, I love the mold. I like the the look of the character, even with a, with the wrong color in the middle of his chest here. Hey, maybe a third party group will come with a uh, upgrade kit or something. We get that fixed. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. It's the Wild West. Anyway, those are my recent acquisitions. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, uh, hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Share this video with your friends. Later.